the other thing that you'll see on all of these slides when I look at the pro talk about the proteins is that I'm saying what the mutations do. They either affect the function of the protein or the level of the protein. So as researchers, we like to do functional studies and we like to follow the level of these proteins in the blood because that gives us insight into what mutations are doing when we discover mutations. And so these are some of the variants that are found in factor I, factor B, MCP, and then what we do. So I've given you an overview of the different mutations we found in different genes. And what we do is when we have our renal group meeting, we talk about a variant that we found, so we don't necessarily call them mutations because we don't know if they're mutations all the time, but we, they are variations, so we call them variants. We try to ascribe to them what we think they're doing to the protein, whether they're affecting its function or affecting its level. We try and correlate that with some of the lab studies that we've already done on you or we get on patients with atypical HUS. And then we try to figure out how to classify that mutation and then we enter it into a database. And so we build a database so that every year we become more proficient at determining what's happening at the genetic level. 